Shalom. Before I begin this video and this lesson, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rachakwadash. We try the true names of the Heavenly Father, which his name is Yahweh in ancient Hebrew, and also likewise his son, or his son's name, which is also in the ancient Hebrew, in which his name is Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. And uh, also, as well, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that I continue to teach this truth and uh, hold fast to this word, that I continually feed the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And also, as well, Shalom to the whole elect, the sincere Akim, that are uh, teaching this word and continue to teach and I bring out the proper edification through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. In faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity now um there's gonna be a response to uh, you know a recent video you know a so-called breakdown that was uh done by uh this character which we all know by the name of uh vocab malone in which uh you know if you peep the video which he put out yesterday you know he went into the scripture in our Revelations chapter seven concerning the hundred forty four thousand. And you know, if you you know if you if you seen the video, you know he you know went to he went to the uh, you know he tried to break it down but you know he failed to do so. Okay? Because he equated the hundred forty four thousand to be all the nations that have gathered together in the time in the, in the time of deliverance but completely ruled out the scripture or uh you know a couple of, or a few scriptures concerning this a certain number out of each tribe okay even though he brought it out in the video concerning those the 12,000 out of each tribe but still equated the 144,000 to be all different nations Okay, and that just goes to show you, man, that this <laughs> this guy is uh he's losing it each and every single day, you know. And um, it's only a matter of time before Yahweh Bashmel Shai just ends up opening up on him, you know, and um takes down his establishment and uh, what he set up because what he's doing is is in vain. Okay, at the end of the day, now. The proper way and the proper understanding to go into Revelations chapter 7 concerning 144,000, that is the nation of Israel, okay? That's 12,000 out of each tribe of the nation of Israel, which make up 144,000, okay? Because simple math will tell you out of each tribe of the nation of Israel, 12,000 out of each tribe, 12,000 times 12 gives you 144,000 okay that doesn't include the uh, innumerable multitude which no man can number in that same scripture that equates to the 144,000 I'm going to go ahead and bring it out real quick actually you know if you want to check out the video and you know <laughs> you want to also do some response videos on this as well you know he um of course, the channel of Vocab Malone, um, who are the 144,000 in the uh, Revelation, okay? And, um, you know, he brought out some other scriptures, you know, which uh, does not support his claim, okay? Or, I should say this, you know, he brought out certain scriptures, but are not able to um, break, it, break it down properly, okay? And, you know, you have others that who really are of the nation of Israel that, that are um, still going by these other bywords that don't know the nationality are falling right behind them, all right? And also as well, you know, that's not only him, but also as well, you know, you got others like Cherry Love, you know, and Cherry Love, Cherry Love is a straight-up demon, man. Okay? And the Lord's going to open up on her too. So, uh, Revelation chapter 7 And I'm going to start at uh, I'm going to 
We'll start at verse 1. It says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. Okay? Now, the wind, the angels that's holding the four winds, all right, that represents the destruction. Okay? Because the four winds of the earth, all right, because the angels are, are placed at four corners of the earth. So, that represents the complete destruction of this kingdom that we're in right now, all right? There's not going to be any place untouched by the destruction, okay? And when I say that, I'm talking about Babylon the Great, and not only Babylon, all right? You got Europe, parts of Europe, okay? You got other places in the world, also the land of Israel, that got to be cleansed. And the Lord is going to come through, and he's going to destroy every single thing that this man has set up. And when I say this man, I'm talking about Esau, Edom, which is the biblical nationality of the so-called white man. Okay. Uh, verse 2, it says, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom he was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Okay. And that sealing, all right, which is the mark that was placed on the ones that sign and cry in Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. Okay, these are the ones who are preserved from the destruction. This is the remnant that trust in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. All right, and they are also Israelites. Okay, there's no other nation on the planet Earth that puts their trust in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai other than the nation of Israel. Okay. Because there are plenty of scriptures that tell you that, that, that tells you that the Most High is not dealing with any other nation other than the nation of Israel. Okay. So read uh, verse three again. It says, uh, "Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea." It's like you. I uh, say, "Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads." And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there was sealed 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get into some words. If I may. I know I got my airplane mode on right now. Okay. So hopefully no messages come in while I'm doing this. Um. Right, so this is the word uh, tribes. Okay, now this is the word uh, fula, or a uh, fi, uh, which means what? A tribe. In the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch ja uh, <laughs> Jacob. See that? Again, it says all the persons descending from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch. Who are the twelve sons? Okay. That's Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, Manasseh, and so on and so forth, all the way down to Issachar. And Dan's not included in that. Okay? That's why Dan was not mentioned in the New Testament. Okay? To keep order. That's the reason why the Most High is not mentioned in the tribe of Dan. Okay? And the ones who are teaching that the tribe of Dan is, uh, is also a part of this, uh, this, this, uh, this event that's going down, the, the salvation, they're going off, man. Okay? Because the tribe of Dan is not included. All right? And we, through the Spirit, we believe that the tribe of Dan has been integrated within the, the rest of the tribes of Israel. Okay? So, that's the word tribes, right? Let's get the word uh, children. Okay? Now, it goes in the word uh, huos, which means a son. Okay. It says, uh, in a wider sense, a descendant, one of the posterity of any one, and that is the children of Israel. Okay. And that's it on that. 
So when you go into the word children, it goes to the son. Okay. So it says the trials of the sons of Israel. So again, in verse four, it says, and I heard the number of them which were sealed and they were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes. All right. The sons of the, the, the 12 patriarchs of the children of Israel. And it goes into each tribe. Okay. And in this, in the rest of these verses, uh, the, the, it says the tribe of Joseph. Okay. And the tribe of Joseph, the, the scripture will tell you what the scriptures mean when it says the tribe of Joseph. Okay. When the scriptures say the tribe of Joseph, it's talking about the tribe of Ephraim. Okay. That's another, that's another name for Ephraim, the, the tribe of Joseph. Okay. In which the, the word Joseph is a uh, Yahweh Sop. Okay. Which means add or addition. He will add. Okay. And the word Ephraim is a parium in the Hebrew, which means fruitful. Okay. That's the reason why Joseph is synonymous with Ephraim. Okay. Now, uh, continuing on in verse 9, it says, After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Okay. And that multitude which no man can number, that is outside of the 144,000. Okay. And when it says all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne, before the Lamb, that's talking about the Israelites that have been scattered and that have been gathered by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, but through, through his son Yahweh Shai. Okay. Now, let me get some, some more uh, precepts that I have here. Is it uh, Isaiah chapter 11? This is at verse uh, 11. It says, And there shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. And who is his people? Israel. Okay. So he's going to set his hand again because the first time was out of the land of Egypt. The second time is going to be out of the land of the north, which is America. Okay. Pursuant to the book of Jeremiah. It said, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Amoth and from the islands of the sea. Why? Because there was a dispersion due to, first and foremost, us not obeying the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which led to us being scattered. I believe it says that in the book of Ezekiel. Okay, let me see if I can get it real quick. Slog is in Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 26. It says, And I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land, whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashemel Shah, shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. Okay? So that's why we were scattered. We, we went off, okay? And we were scattered among the heathen. So that's why, if you read again in Isaiah chapter 11, okay? This is the Lord says he's going to set his, again, he set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people that are in Assyria and Egypt and, and all these different nations, among these nations, okay? And gather us, okay? And the bulk of of Israelites are going to be out of Babylon the Great, which is Babylon is America, okay, which is a strange land to us. Verse 12, and you shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. See that? So that's why John the Revelator, he was seeing the vision of that innumerable multitude out of, out of all nations and kindreds and tongues and people. Because these Israelites were scattered among these people. Okay.
just like you. There's another scripture, and this is this is a twofold precept, which I'm about to bring out. Um, I believe it's in the apocrypha as well, but this is out of the book of Daniel, chapter nine, verse eight. It says, "O Lord, to us belong a confusion of face to our kings." Ask your slacker. Let me see if I can uh, jump up a little bit. Yeah, verse seven, uh, Daniel chapter nine, verse seven. It says, "O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day, to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto Israel that are near, and that are far off, through all the countries where the die has driven them." Because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. See? And that's the reason why we were scattered. Okay? It says, uh, O Lord, to us belong a confusion of face to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. Okay? And that happened. Okay? And that's twofold. Again, because not only talking about us being scattered and not knowing who we are, and being scattered among uh, the heathen, and to the point to where now... We appear to be as the heathen or for uh, example you you have israelites that look like edomites okay they look that uh look like uh ammonites that look like uh ishmaelites okay even and they even look like uh amalekites okay you got our people that are scattered among amalek or you so the so-called jews okay but guess what their bloodline goes back to the 12 patriarchs of the uh, of the nation of Israel, and that's the reason why the scriptures tell you in Revelations uh, chapter seven concerning the, the sons, or should I say, uh, the children, all the tribes of the children of Israel, and those tribes physically go back to the twelve patriarchs. Okay, that's why Paul said that. The, the covenants and the promises and the giving of the law all pertains on the Israel and also the adoption. Okay. The adoption also pertains unto the nation of Israel. Okay. Why? Because we've been scattered. Okay. We've been scattered abroad. All right. And the Lord is adopting us back into his covenants and his practices. And he's, he's uh, returning back to us as we are returning back to him. Okay, and the hundred forty-four thousand is uh, speaking about. Uh, or should I say the hundred forty-four thousand comes out of the one third? Okay, let me get that. Uh, Zechariah, it should be Zechariah chapter uh, thirteen. Okay, Zechariah chapter thirteen. This is a verse. Uh, verse eight. It says, "Now shall come to pass." That in all the land, saith the Lord, you how about Shemuel Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay? And those two parts represents two thirds of the nation of Israel. Okay? They're going to be cut off and die on this side. Okay? But the third, all right, that one third number, that that multitude, which cannot be numbered, shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and we will refine them as silver is refined. And will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power. Okay. So the one third in itself is an innumerable multitude. Okay. Now it's another uh, point that he tried to bring out. On, and I'm talking about vocab. He tried to say that those are uh, the, the ones who are the 144,000 are virgins. All right. He said that they never had sex. They never known women. Um, Let's see if I can get it real quick. All right, this is our Revelation chapter fourteen, and um, so at verse three it says, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty-four thousand. All right, then Revelation chapter um seven, not Revelation chapter seven, our Romans. I believe it's Romans chapter um, 11 and 7, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay. Um, 
Right, it says, and no man can learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the land whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, okay, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Okay, now it's not talking about literal virgins, man. Okay, you know, people that, that uh, never had sex. Okay, I believe you're going to the word virgin. It's just going to say, you know, somebody that don't have sex or never had sex, if I'm not mistaken. Let me get it. Because it's, it's two definitions of the word virgins in the scriptures. Let's see if I can get it real quick. Okay, so this is what it really means when the scriptures say that these are virgins. Okay, it's not talking about somebody that doesn't have sex. Okay, it says uh, a man who has abstained from all uncleanness and whoredom attendant on idolatry and so has kept his chastity okay so how do you keep your chastity okay you stay away from idolatry the whoredoms of and, and what and what is being pushed out in this world today okay whoredoms idolatry vain philosophies deceits okay basically everything that america pushes is against y'all about shimon shai and that equates to idolatry and whoredoms man okay and that includes Christianity. Okay. Christianity is also a form of whoredom because Christianity teaches you every everything that, that these churches teach you in Christianity is against the scriptures, against Yahweh Shemel Shai and the doctrine of the Bible. Okay. So, yeah, that's what the scripture means when it says that these were not defiled with women for they are virgins. OK, because America, which is Babylon the Great, also equated to being a, a, a woman. In which that woman is spoken about in Proverbs, I believe Proverbs the seventh chapter. OK, let me see if I can get it. And I ended off on this. Go back in airplane mode. All right, Proverbs chapter 7, um, verse 10, it says, And behold, there met him a woman with the entire of a harlot and subtle or subtile of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. And this is all talking about Babylon, okay, which is what? America, okay? She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house, all right, which represents her being in every single other nation on, on the planet Earth or among these different countries. All right. And that's why you have military bases that are scattered throughout every corner of the Earth. OK. And the philosophies and the Western mentalities and, and, and things that they push here in America are being pushed on these uh, different lands. OK. Verse 12. Now she is without now in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner. OK. Because everywhere you go. This, this Babylonian idea is spread throughout every corner of the earth. If you go to China, you go to Japan, if you go to anywhere, even Australia, if you go to any other place, America's going to be there. And the, and the philosophies that America push is also going to be there. Okay. Uh, verse 20, it says, So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face and I have found thee I have decked my bed with coverings with tapestry with carved works and with fine linen of Egypt I have perfumed my bed with myrrh alloys and cinnamon all right and those bed coverings with tapestry and carved works and fine linen of Egypt that's why this land is spiritually the city is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt all right because this this is a land of bondage our people are continu are in continual employment and slavery in this land okay Verse 18 says, come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. So this is laying down with the harlot. OK, but guess what? The, the men, the 144,000, the elect of the nation of Israel have not been defiled with women. OK, that includes Babylon. OK, and Babylon is a combination of different other philosophies and religions of, of these different nations made into one. That's why this, this land is known as the cauldron, the melting pot. Okay. 
Verse 19 says, for the good man is not at home. He has gone on a, he's gone a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. And that day appointed is approaching. That good man that has that bag of money is coming back. And that good man is Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that he's going to distribute that bag of money to his men who have been investing in this truth. Okay, the ones who were sent out to uh, multiply the money with the, the talents. Okay. But that's it on that. I'm going to go ahead and end off on that note again, man. You know, the 144,000 again is out of the nation of Israel. 12,000 out of each tribe, which make up 144,000. The innumerable multitude, which cannot be numbered out of all kindreds and nations and tongues and people. That's also the nation of Israel who are brought out of those different peoples and brought unto the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai. So, again, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and close on that note. Uh, those with us edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and Ruel. Shalom. Peace and safety. Salutations to the whole elect. Labor in his work. Give me diligence to make your calling on the election sure. And faith and truth and sincerity in all charity. And with that, it goes to Shalom.